Sorry about that, folks. I have a little viewer mishap. Welcome back. Okay, uh, let's see. Not a lot of news today. The, the release channel situation remains about where it was. We just had a main viewer update, I think it was yesterday, uh, or the day before. Um, we have not updated the voice viewer in a while. And the Alex IV viewer, hopefully, that is the 64-bit suite, will certainly, will hopefully get an update early next week. We're, we're putting together a few additional fixes uh, for that. Um, and hope to have an update out, uh, depending on how it does going through QA this weekend. Um, so those are all still in progress. Um, if I was going to guess which one was going to promote next, it would be the maintenance branch. Uh, 360 snapshot viewer is sort of on hold for the moment, again, just because of vacations. Um, so that's, that's all I have on the viewer pipeline at the moment. Um, there is, uh, I know that we've had a little bit of excitement over the last several weeks with LLHTTP requests on the simulators. Um, some of that has been due to low-level library changes that we inherited when we uh, moved the simulator to newer versions of some of the, some of the components. Um, including the underlying operating system. And some of them were due to changes we made um, at roughly the same time. Uh, I think most of those have been sorted out. It turns out that some of them have caused some incompatibilities that some people are still working through. Um, but so you may get you, you're, you, you may get people asking you for help with that. Uh, we have one more change that will be going out on Aditi uh, shortly, and I will blog about it uh, on one of the forums or another um, shortly. But uh, and that that yeah, and the the idea is to try to get people to test on Aditi. Um, so that we can see whether or not it changes. Um, and we're going to we're going to let get that get that fixed. Uh, this is an LSL change for HTTP doing HTTP requests from from uh, LSL objects. So uh, that'll be That'll be coming out soon, and you may end up getting support requests for it. Um, and we'll we'll try to encourage people to do some testing there, so that we don't break as much stuff when we eventually roll it to Agni. Um, and I think that's all the news I have right at the moment. So the floor is open for anything except Sansar questions. The 64-bit viewer is still the best hope for the future. Unfortunately, it is still only a hope for the future. Well, it seems to be crashy for some people and not for others. Um, and we haven't been able to figure out why. 
So we we are adding some stuff that will that we hope will catch data on more of the crashes. Yeah, there you're not the only one at least this now. We have identified other people that have the same problem. So um, and there are other problems besides the one that's been nagging you. So Uh, you you missed the viewer update, Annie. That's why you're not hearing him. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's getting going to get more work, um, but it will be on hold for a little bit. Uh, the person who's working on that is on vacation, and actually, when he gets back, he's going to have some CEF issues in 64-bit to look at. So. So the rumor is true, not true. The rumor about you changing, uh, chaining all your programmers to their desks. Hey, uh, this is August. There is lots and lots of evidence that that is not true. Um. <laughs> we we've tried to do it. I certainly insisted on it a few times, but Oz keeps checking off those vacation requests. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm a slave to being popular with my <laughs> team. Plus, HR claims that there are issues with that or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so. At least we don't give them, like, European vacations. <laughs> We haven't we haven't put any we haven't put any time into on group notices. No idea what's going on there. We that's on as as annoying as some people find that problem. Uh, I'm afraid that at the moment it's pretty far down on the list. Not likely to get higher soon uh, because we're focusing on things that crash simulators. We're we're going to be doing an awful lot of work on on simulator infrastructure over the next couple of quarters, um, and some of that we we will try to keep up a steady stream of of uh, at least some kinds of user visible improvements. But uh, there is a significant amount of work being put into infrastructure changes that. Hopefully, you'll never even be able to tell anything about it except that maybe performance will get better. Uh, possibly, Kitty. Obviously, I, I, I'm not prepared to make any promises about uh, whether or not we'll be able to do them. But we're not doing mirrors. It's not happening. Forget it. It's totally fine if you keep asking. 
However, Worley has said that we have fulfilled so many of their wishes that uh, if we just did mirrors now that they could retire Firestorm. And you don't want them to retire Firestorm, so really, you don't want us to do mirrors. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, as, as to mirrors, uh, if an open source developer implements mirrors that work and are acceptable from a performance point of view without unreasonable restrictions on where you can put them and what you can put them on, um, I at least will be happy to consider the contribution. But I don't believe that's possible. And I am, and I am assured by graphics developers who know a great deal more about rendering than I do that it isn't possible. And that's why we're not doing it. So if you have a miracle worker out there who wants to do a contribution to the viewer, go for it. But since I'd like to get other work done, I'm not going to devote our developers to doing it. Because I don't think it can be done. That's really where that whole issue is right now. All right, are we good? I'm not hearing anything discussed I except mirrors. Might, I think we might want to reiterate the point about um, the new changes uh, going on at DB. About oh the the LSL thing. Yeah. Yeah. The the so, reason Mazdox is here. Right, Mazdox is here to help with testing of that. Um, so we're going to put we're going to put those up. I've got a blog post mostly composed. We just need to add to it which regions on a DD are going to have it. Do we know that yet, Mastodox? Um, we one of the he ran away. yeah, that's okay. Um, we're we're uh, we're working on environment changes, environment settings changes, and one of the things that'll be in that is the ability to change the moon. So if you want to implement moon phases using that, it's easy. Eep. Yes, that's the EB project. It's my current favorite project name. <laughs> uh, if Drake fixed the Pac-Man stars, he hasn't contributed to the change. Um, the voice viewer is suffering from a high crash rate as are most of our candidates at the moment, which is why very few of them are being promoted. And we haven't figured out why. Um, one of the next projects we're going to be doing is a major revamp of the crash reporting and analysis system. And hopefully that will make it easier for us to hunt these things down. Uh, 
Uh, oh, we're feeding the hamsters. We're putting them in like, gilded cages and sending them on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pantera, there are no plans for anything like that at the moment. Although there's oh the third alternative is experience data actually. You're right. He did fix the Pac-Man stars. It is... Yeah, it's been out since Separavi. Stars should not be Pac-Man. Since, like, January. Maybe February. SQA and everything. Uh, we can we can try. We'll be we'll be having to touch a bunch of that stuff. You guys just need worse eyesight. Get old like me, and then you, you won't have so many problems with these little, little tiny graphical glitches. Looks like Mazadox is back. Um, Mazadox? Do you know what regions on a DD are going to have the um, changes? Anymore, we're still planning to do that work. Um, I'm waiting for a developer whom I would like to work on that to free up from the previous thing. See previous comment about everybody being busy or on vacation. Right. And then before you know it, it will be winter holidays. We'll be wanting to take time off again. He can make up convincing and authoritative answers. Um, the home locations thing, we're, we, we don't have any plans to do anything that modifies people home, people's home location. Although I'm, I'm curious as to why you would care. That's that's an insufficient answer. Yeah, Worley. Really, I. Um, why is it a problem that griefers are able to set a home location?
Mm. I would need to check that, Pantera. So, instead of changing the setting home, um, we're going to work on changing the behavior where... So, first of all, mods can't TP home the griefers, but they can add them to the state ban, which will get them thrown out, and they won't be able to come back. Even if their home is set there. Right. So, even if their home... Only if they have the rights to add them to a state ban. This is true. Limited number of estate manager slots. That would be nice to see extended. And, and I understand the, the the limit on the ban list. I'd love it to be bigger, but that's a lot more work server side, from what I understand. Worldly, we should talk about that because we don't believe those tricks should work anymore. Right. Offline. Um, it, it is not supposed to be true that home does anything to bypass bans. If, if there's a way to do it, that's a bug and we'll definitely we'll pay it. attention to it. The whole, the, the, just, just a purely personal perspective on this, the whole business of trying to manage what people could do with a home location by deciding whether or not they could set it was probably not well thought through. The, what, what we're trying to do now is organize restrictions on where you can or can't go based on restrictions on where you can or not, can't go. and whether or not something is your home location really shouldn't matter. And that's that's where we're trying to go with it. And we think we're mostly there. So um, if if you if you can elucidate how how that's a problem with a very specific example of exactly what somebody is doing that causes a problem that leverages a home location then uh, I'd like to see a JIRA with that carefully written up. Yes, I, I don't care what their home location gets set to. What I care is whether about is whether or not they can use it for something that they shouldn't be able to do. The home location getting set automatically is actually a feature. It's not a bug. It's that's, and and there, are, there are good reasons why we want to keep that feature. Now, if there, if the fact that it gets set causes something that's a management problem, please explain what the management problem is and how it gets caused. We're not. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna undo the fact that it gets set. I, Sounds I, like I a don't... personal problem, Chaser. Over the years, we've had all sorts of ideas about how to send griefers to the cornfield. But some people like it. Yeah, we don't want to... Encourage them. Right. We really enjoyed it. 
I know. <laughs> we might have to send her back. So I'm currently in New York, and I'd love to be able to send the real-life people who do that straight to the cornfield, too. All right, any other issues that we need to deal with? Okay, I got a bug to fix. I'm gonna take off. Thank you all, Oz, Grumpy, Methodox, and everybody else. We'll catch you later. Thank you.